All right, well, we have a twenty or fifty dollar donation from Big Moose. This goes out to one of my students who is heading out to Southeast Asia with Doctors Without Borders. I wish her and everyone else in that wonderful act organization the best of luck, and best of luck to everyone in the wonderful event too. Love seeing these. Or twenty dollars from Kevin plays games. Love seeing these games broken. Another great marathon, guys. Save the frames, kill the animals. Twenty dollars, fifty dollars from Lazarus. Love watching all these games get completely ruined. Splendid work. Save the animals for dinner. Fifty-three point fourteen, fifty-three dollars and fourteen cents. Five, fifty dollars plus pie. This is a mar amazing marathon that keeps me up all night. Luckily, my holiday job only starts next week. Keep the good work going. $25 from Anonymous. Hello there. I hope everyone is ret to go. I wish the best of luck to the sound defense and Tony Ogbrock for their runs. Even though luck doesn't have much to do there. I f I'm feeling very lucky I will to be able to commentate these runs for the French Restream. Our community isn't the biggest, but it's definitely one I'm proud of. A big thank you to WayForward for supporting the speed runs as much as they do. These games are awesome, and so are their runs. No one gets left behind. Save the animals. Fifty dollars, five dollars from Phenom Fifty Seven. Shoutouts to my boy Tony Ogbot. Good luck on the Mighty Switch Force Two run. Now the, for the real question: When's Marvel? Much love, Huna. Fifty dollars from Anonymous. Great event, great cause. Also, kill the animals. $50 from Pop-Tart17. I have watched the AGDQ replays on YouTube many times. This is my first year watching live and donating. Loving the stream so far. I'm wishing all the runners the best of luck. Uh, kill the animals? $50 from Caro. That Shantae run was looking fun. Looking forward to the rest of the runs. Good luck, everybody. $50 from J-Man of Doom. Shoutouts to Tony Ogbot. Lakers, Pride. Thanks for everyone putting on a great event for such a great cause. $75 from Reese McCarthy. Hoverless run hype. $10 from Anonymous. Go Tony. Can't wait to hear your singing voice. $10 from another, from Austin from Way Forward again. Tony, another $10 in your name. The master of the shimmy. $5 from the breakfast. I don't have much to give, but I'll give what I've got. Mad respect to WayForward and all the runners. $25 from Anonymous. I've had such a terrible day today, but tonight's singing gave me a new lease on life. Heart. $50 from Hurry Stream. GDQ is such a great, awesome event. Great cause and great games. Best of luck on all you breaking your PBs. Apology accepted for the singing. Uh, you take this time to shout out to one of our sponsors, Alienware, a leader in PC gaming since 1996, available in, online and in stores in 23 countries globally. Now streaming live gameplay interviews every week on Twitch. See the weekly schedule or learn more at Alienware.com. Can you hear me, Duke? I love you. Dark? Adam? Dark? Yeah, I can hear you. I was just giving the thumbs up. Hey, Duke, when's Hotline? Uh, hotline is now, apparently. Hotline is now. Yes, it's Hotline like Live. Hotline. This looks like Hotline, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Same thing. <laughs> Do 
Do you think your character gets sick from doing that? No, no. I mean, if he did, that's how you would do vomit skip. This isn't Metal Gear Solid 3, so I think he's fine. <laughs> how do I remove the, uh, the leeches, dude? You have to uninstall. Okay. I'll do that right away. CFP, why aren't you playing this game again? Weren't your words just, I can't play this game? Something like that. Yeah, I don't blame you. You made the right choice. If you fall, he's here to pick you up. All right. No, that's his job. <laughs> that's, yeah, if I, if I somehow die from injury, I think uh, Snowfats has taken the helm. If you die from injury, I'm just going to call Dingo and Drill and have him fly out. Yeah, do it. We'll, we'll push you to the side and just get someone else on there. If you guys can just like delay the event so that Dingo can get here, that'd be cool. Because we need we need a real hotline runner. I love the fat guy punch. It's just yeah, it is. It's terrible. Yo, go to the title. Go to the good music. What you don't like this? I do, but you're not supposed to hear it for so long. Yeah, I want to share this glitch, dude. Okay, okay, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> good one, dude. You I'm did glad it. I'm glad I did it. You did it. <laughs> I did you the speed did run, it. dude. All right, yeah. This is... This is cozy. Yeah, this is yeah. a much better title theme than the first one. Actually, you, the music in this game is just better. Yeah. No, I, I like them both Let's not fight about this. <laughs> we can fight. I mean, okay. I don't want to fight it. Can we say disco, Miami disco, is a great song at least? We can, I think we can agree on that. Not a fan, dude. We can all agree Oh, oh I will take this headset off right now. It's all about Sun or Ah. Oh, yeah. No, the apartment both theme is my jam. Hollywood Heights. You have, uh, you have good taste, but I disagree. Flatline. This is a civil forum, my friends. No. Hey, Duke, why don't you do a uh, hard mode instead? Yeah, I've heard it's faster, but I don't know. I think I'm not, uh, I can't full combo dead ahead on hard, so that's out of the picture. I, l I love those combos because uh, it ends up just going exponential for the score. <laughs> like, it doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they ever figured out how to fix that. I think it looks, I think it's cool. Yeah, it feels like you've broken through to a barrier and you get to share, uh, what is it, like 56th with the people who actually play the game and don't cheat to get on the high scores. That's always nice. Scores always wouldn't matter anyway. I mean, yeah, really. The thriving Hotline Miami 2 score attack scene is, uh, it's something. Something. Sure. Why don't we just go all, all go back and score attack Hotline 1? After SGDQ, let's just do that. We then we'd score have to races. go to a Twin Galaxies marathon. Texting me. Audio's dead Who again. Who that? Audio's dead again. It's dead. Oh. All right, I'm not getting anything through the head. There you go. Okay, there yeah, is. better. I got it now. It just went away for a while while he's fiddling with the box. It's good now. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping an eye out. Do you want to just give shout outs to all the people who actually run Hotline right now? I don't know. Are we actually like live? Uh, yes. Yes, they've heard people can us hear for a while. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would, that would be a good time. Yeah, the Hotline community is definitely one of the most chill uh, I've, I've ever been a part of. And French. And French, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, Dingo Droll, is a, is he, he's a god at this game. And Hotline won. It's a shame that he's not the one here running this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're good at the game, too. Come on, dude. dude no, I'm a Let's Player. Yeah. I'm okay, it's a speed let's play. Okay, sure. A speed play. <laughs> so yeah, Dingo Droll, Jack and Tosh, Cookie. Cookie. Shout outs to Cookie. Dude. Yeah. He's here in <laughs> spirit. He is, yeah. He's he's pushing the game. Uh, I know uh, it's not Jack and Tosh, it's it's Bricktator who's doing a you gotta notice, yeah, the segmented thing. That's going well, I think. Have you Link. seen that yet? It's turned out really nice so no, far. No, no, I've, I've just heard. I'm surprised how fast it's like going, you know? Yeah. Because he was talking about it, like, what, two weeks ago? Apparently he's doing a New Game one, though, so I might have to do a New Game Plus one. I'm so yeah. sorry for your loss. Dude, New Game. New Game all the way. New Game is the future. 
Dude, New Game Plus all levels. When what you don't you have to worry then? about when the level ends or anything. It's easy, dude. Do you so ever want to talk about categories and hotline, or is that just completely <laughs> messed up? <laughs> Where's GitGraph to talk about it? <laughs> so who here is ready for a comfy hotline stream? Oh, baby. I am. I can tell you there is a, uh, a good Canadian friend of mine who is very ready. Can we get an audience woo? I don't think so. No. no. Okay. Dude, it's 4 a.m. Cut we got slack. one over there. They're doing the wave, like. <laughs> that was an aborted wave. Yo, can we get a rabbit rack in the chat, please? <laughs> All right. Shout out to Franker Facey. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Such Yo, relaxing dude. music. Can we get a shout out to my boy that could make it to uh, Shitty Q? Cyber Demon 531. Oh, man. Yeah. You're bringing me down. <laughs> <laughs> if only Cyber Demon was here, dude. Here's, yeah. the, here's the shout out to Cyber Demon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly am, am so sad he's not here. Yeah. Netflix Race Mania would have been the best run of the marathon by far. Agreed. So. Duke, do you have your swear jar already? You know what? I actually almost did just take like a coffee cup from the hotel and write swear jar on it. But I don't have that foresight. Hey, hey studio. Why is my mom texting me? <laughs> I'm busy speed running. Hi, Duke's mom. Shout out to uh, phone mom. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are getting this PC. Not the other one. Unless it's the same. Well, it's the same PC, it's just dual monitors. Not really. so, Is it? Yeah, you can use this. You Why can see it? the task on the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good point. I just want to I just want to give a shout out to Dude's mom for showing his support before he's running. <laughs> yeah. We're a big fan of you, Mrs. Uh, Bilgewater. Yeah, she says because she can, so I guess. Aww. That's a good reason. <laughs> yeah. Aww. So. Wait, how is that an aw? <laughs> <laughs> She's sassing. I don't understand you're, emotions at this point in time. Your mom's just, bu like, yeah, Duke's mom is just bullying him with text messages right now. Yeah, I come from a family of bullies, if that explains a lot. It does, it does. <laughs> Dude, when is Hotline? You know, this is about on pace for the uh, Hotline 1 pregame, so. Yeah, you want to throw a 90% uh, oh, of Hotline 1 in here, Sniffats? <laughs> Ooh, Peter died. It's mm -hmm. over. No signal. Is that like Dragon Warrior boss music? Do you think, music? um, is it because it's borderless, maybe? No, no, it's a separate thing. Okay. I had to run and grab Test Runner. We, it's being fixed. Yeah. I mean, it's your fault, Duke. <laughs> Thank you, Duke. Come on, Duke. Good job, dude. You, you just don't know what Hotline is, do you? Yeah. Always got to make it about you. <laughs> Crashing the marathon. Man, that's cold, Duke. <laughs> Snow fats. There we go. Back to the chill. Back to the, that. We were mean during that block. <laughs> yeah. You guys should just crash the stream halfway through, I don't care. so you can uh, get it out of your system. I'll play Ash and Alex during Death Wish. Okay. Okay. All right. It looks like we're good. The, the disembodied arm of CFP. Yeah, that's him. Are this, you off camera? CFP. Yeah. Dang, dude. Dude, scoot over. Dude, I'll scoot over. Yeah, uh, just move that couch. You can sit on my lap if you need to. Yeah, let's get let's get cozy. Can we get a blanket up here? Can we get a blanket up here? Mm -hmm. For the maximum cost. Yeah, it's good. Everything's good. Can we get a, a, a red heart pillow up here? 
I got this. <laughs> Enjoy. Let's not. Let's not. Let's My not ears. Please stop. You're getting something. I should have expected that. Yeah, dude. Come on. I run Hotline. You can't trust me. <laughs> right, right here. Let's, let's That's what you gotta do, though. You hit the biggest heart of all. Stop trying to pop. <laughs> it was beating. Let's do it. That's how I know I'm alive right now. Okay, we good to go? All right, so you uh, you guys just want me to give a countdown? You might want yeah, to be on the screen you need to be to actually start the run. Dude, how do I, how do I start the run? The foot pedal is all the way over there. All right. So no foot pedal. Split on boss kill. You give the three, two, one, all that. I can give you three, two, one if you'd like. Yeah, I would. I would appreciate it if you gave me a three, two, one. I'd be okay, all, it'll be on go, not on confused. one. I'm not that type of person. I don't do the one. I do the go. Okay. I think we uh, we can agree to disagree on that, but I'll discuss. I'll, I'll okay. I'll, for you, I'll do a one. Okay. Okay. All right. Is tech ready over there? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Go. No. Go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Yeah, so this is Hotline Miami 2, the, uh, the much anticipated and much delayed sequel to Hotline Miami. And in some ways it's largely the same game as the first one, but in other ways it's very different. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is I'm using a gun a lot, and you're going to be seeing that for pretty much most of the run. Guns are the best option for dealing with large crowds of enemies, and this guy is not supposed to be here, so that brings up something important. This game is really random, and it's very unforgiving. I will die. <laughs> Come on, dude. That was just an example of dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah like this. <laughs> yeah, pu purely intentional. Purely intentional. Dude, your combo was higher. You got more points for that. Nice, nice. It's all about the score. So. Yeah, this is a score attack, by the way, in case you're curious. Uh, Speedrunning this game is for weenies. Oh, there's actually a foot pedal? Yeah. Oh. We get the foot pedal, though. What does nice. that even do? Say uh, hi that to starts Tony. and stops the timer. If Bye, Tony. I can see it. Yeah, there goes Tony. You'll see him once. So you'll probably wonder why I'm quitting out of the game instead of watching the uh, sick in-between outros and intros. It's because uh, the level is cleared as soon as you see the score screen, and so obviously it's just faster to get out of there. In Hotline 1, there were a few levels where that wasn't the case because there wasn't a score screen, but pretty much every level has, has a score screen here, so, you know. Oh yeah, and uh, Duke's playing as different characters in a lot of these stages. Like, last level was one of the fans, this time he's Detective uh, Pardo, best character in the game. Yeah. Ace Detective, Manny Pardo. And it's going to affect which mask he can choose, if he can choose a mask or a weapon. Yeah, exactly. So these are basically substitutes for masks, although they're uh, confined to their respective levels instead of being selectable for everyone. Pardo has like a few cool animations, and that level, for example, he starts with a shotgun in the trunk. Yeah, you know what's funny is actually, uh, I think I can disclose this information at this point, but in the, uh, the beta, his gimmick was that he couldn't see ammo counts in guns. <laughs> Nice. It was a good time, yeah. Why would a cop know how much ammo a gun would have? Of course, yeah. He just doesn't care, dude. He just knows. All right, so this is another thing about the game. Who has, anybody who has played this game knows this by this point. There are a lot of windows in Hotline Miami 2, and there are a lot of enemies with guns in Hotline Miami 2, and that's a pretty bad combination in a lot of ways. So I'm going to be playing it very safe on levels like this that are all windows, because frankly, if you're out there in the open for more than a second, somebody's going to take a crack shot at you and you're done. That was a really good first screen, by the way. <laughs> good timing, dude. No problem. <laughs> Oh my god, CFB, you jinxed it. Well, the good news is these deaths part. are really fast. Like, he's they dying, are. but it's only a few seconds. There are. That's, that's an important thing to note about the deaths, is that really death is only a big deal if it comes at the end of a long screen. Otherwise, you're really losing only, what, five to ten seconds per death. Maybe. Some yeah. long screen. Dude, like, I'm a really combo master. I did it. It's coming at the game, Nice achievement, though. dude. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, there are some levels where you, if you die towards the end of the screen, it, it's like a minute or oh, so yeah, lost. dude, it's terrible. And there are really, uh, there are a few levels where it's incredibly punishing. And, and something as simple as firing a gun at the wrong point can bait an enemy and you're just done for. Uh, I will point that out when the time comes because there is a really good example, but it's at the end. So you guys got, you, you, uh, you got that coming. All right. Final cut. This is a very, very interesting level. Yeah, this is... It has a really banging tune, by the way. Uh, 
If you guys can't tell, by the way, the soundtrack to this game is godlike. I am a huge fan of every artist on uh, on this soundtrack and the first games as well. I think we can all agree that this is the best thing about the game. It's pretty good. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I'm feeling chills. <laughs> oh, I, maybe I shouldn't have been feeling those. So this is definitely one of those screens where it's very easy to die. That was not a good example of it, but uh, yeah, let's see. Ooh, clutch. Nice. The danger is going to be if there's an enemy off screen or if he gets caught out. Yeah, or if I get caught in a door like that, because frankly, doors are your enemy in this game. Uh, this is a very easy place to die, by the way, so I'm not surprised by this at all. Doors can uh, do a few things, enemies can kind of get stuck in them, sometimes they'll knock an enemy down when you don't want them to, and that doesn't kill them. They can pop back up, grab a weapon, and just shoot you in the back. Man, that door is really messing with me. Oh yeah, they also block bullets really well. <laughs> Something we might not talk <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah. Off Welcome to Hotline Miami too, everybody. I hope <laughs> you enjoy your enemies. stay. Off-screen enemies. A huge threat in this game. The first game, most of the levels were compact enough that you wouldn't really ever be shot from off-screen. In this game, it happens all the time. Like, you can't even look all the way across the yeah, screen. Like, it's how, so big. Look where this guy is now. Compare that to where he was. Also, I survived the shot there. That was pretty lucky. You can survive shots in the first game as well, but it's really unreliable. Like, you can only do it um, once in a while. Enemies can do it, too. I got really bad gun luck here, so I'm just going to take the, pol the pistol, because seven bullets is better than six, no matter what. Yeah, the shotgun is cool, but unfortunately, because you just don't have the, uh, the rate of fire or a lot of shots, it's not that reliable. All right, we're getting up on a skip here. So nice. let me see if I can do this. Oh my god, that luck. Thank you. So this is key skip. So if you've played this game, you know that you have to kill this guy and take his keys to open this door. But uh, it turns out the only trigger in, in play here is whether all the enemies are dead or not. Mm -hmm. So you can just go through that door if they're all dead. It's pretty cool. You can try it at home if you want. It's pretty easy. Just make sure that guy's knocked down, because if he shoots you while you're opening the door, the game crashes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've had that happen during runs. It's a good time. Uh, Hotline and Hotline 2 are all about being stuck in part one and loving every minute of it. I just wanted to mention that we have a $10 donation from Dingo Droll. Oh, shit. Hey. Awesome, guys. Hear hey. my name and happy that anyone honored my work. Good luck and <laughs> greetings from France. Yeah, Dingo Droll's a great guy. He's put in so much work on these games, and he, he deserves every bit of credit. All right, these are some of my favorite levels in the game, the reporter levels. Um, he is non-violent at the start of a level, and for speed purposes... This is this is not Vaughn. Well, okay, he's kind of violent at the start of a level. <laughs> non-lethal. Non-lethal, that's what I'm going for. He's got some repressed feelings he needs to, to share. There's a guy in that plant, by the way. That's that's completely random whether he's there or not. I mean, this whole layout is kind of random. All right, there we go. Back on track. Like right here, he's not actually killing anyone. He's just like bullying No, them. no. I just give them really <laughs> bad tummy aches, and then they lay down for a while. And uh, if he picks up a gun, he'll actually just uh, unload it, which yeah. is really bad with certain weapons. Here, like I'll show you guys. There you go. That like helps you carry your combo. It's actually it really actually cool. does. Yeah. It's really fun. It's the most important score. is most important. So the writer is a really he has a really cool mechanic. Also, oh. you don't need to actually yeah, subdue you, every enemy. These guys are just your friends now. You can shoot your gun after uh, completing the level if you pick one up, and it, they just don't get hurt. You can also, whatever. I'm sorry. No. You can also crash the game on a level if you enter the door as you get shot. Really? Much like yeah. Much I didn't like know that. Cut. Thank God. Yeah. Speaking of good music, this is the best song in the game. Yeah, th what's actually kind of nice about this run, which is subtle, is that the music kind of sets the tone for where you are in the run. Like when, uh, let's say, Poop, because I'm not allowed to swear, gets real, uh, it's in the levels that have the most intense music, like Death Wish, for example. All right, make sure I have an Uzi. Uzi is what you want no matter what. Frankly, the guns are just incredibly imbalanced in this game, and you want either an Uzi or a Kalashnikov, no matter what. <laughs> Dude, am I, am I dropping money in the swear jar after this? I, you know, if you whisper it, the microphone still picks it up. Oh, it's not yeah. very far away. No, 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 no. It's reflex, trust me. <laughs> With this game, it's reflex. You got, the, you got the muscle memory and you've also got the vocabulary memory. Yep, sorry about that. Uh, to be fair, though, we're watching people get shot and killed repeatedly and murdered in gruesome ways, so I think there's a little bit of room for it's pretty common bloody. sense. Let's just say common sense. We'll call this uh, SGDQ After Dark. <laughs> yeah. 
it goes without saying that this is a very gory game. All right, hey, we're through. <laughs> that floor is not that hard, it's just sort of tedious, and there are a lot of sort of moving parts that can fuck you through. Two. Yeah. Mm. All right. This yeah, floor my... is a big example of where you really want to use guns to just lure enemies and then slaughter them. It yeah, happens a lot yeah. on Death Wish as well, and just these levels get so massive that it's really the only way to get through them with any type of decent speed. By the way, uh, at some point, dog AI just got broken in this game, and they just don't care about you anymore. They, you're not tasty to them. So uh, there will be some examples of that later on, where you need to approach a dog from a specific way to be safe. And even if you do, there's a good chance that you'll just get killed by it, and there's very little you can do. But it's not a huge problem. Nice tactical rolls. Yeah, the tactical rolls are very important. You need to uh, optimize that fully. All right, so we got the easy mode characters, and we'll be using them next time. Now this is a good level, thank goodness. Yeah, this is, this is just a really fun level and it has a great song. Uh, it's too bad that this dude, we only see him once. His gimmick is that he starts the level with a silenced pistol, which lets you do some cool stuff. And now what I want is Uzis, and what I'm getting is Uzis, so that's really good. All right, good. That was a really clean floor. This is the run. Yeah. Speed run, baby. Where Go fast. At? Go fast. Um, Middle. excuse me? <laughs> Combo God, though. We did it. Yeah. Runs over, everybody. Go home. Got the Chivo. Yeah. Shout out oh, to yeah. If anybody fun. wants to uh, correct the layout, this is all Chivos. Ooh, that's not good. I don't want that guy knocked down. Stand up for me, brother man. Now, two people with a shotgun. Whoa. Yeah, this is kind of weird. These guys are acting in ways that I don't really want them to, which is a pretty common theme in Hotline. Whoa, I got you, fam. All right, weird. Yeah, that that this screen is really um, it looks simple when it goes right, but it is just one of those complex screens where there are a lot of moving parts and firing a gun in an area where you don't normally fire a gun can sort of mess up the bottom half of the level and make it more difficult. Nice s rank, dude. Yeah. I'm getting the studio those s ranks, don't worry. I thought you switched accounts. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Good point. Would you like some s ranks? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll do this later. All right, I sell my services. If you guys need s ranks, I got you. Second best song in the game. Uh, hit me up at twitch.tv slash I ate your pie. So something this game does really well is there's a lot of inter inter interconnected characters and plots. Oh cool, he didn't come All right, well that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> nice bug. Yeah, thanks. Sometimes your partner just doesn't want to come in the club with you. You'd rather be at home watching TV. His yeah. feet hurt. So Ash and Alex works with uh, Ash in front, uh, just constantly going uh, with the chainsaw, and you're being followed by your brother, who has the gun and will pick up guns he picks up, but you don't ever have direct control over him. No, he no, he just sort of follows you. Uh, he's really sort of helpful, but at the same time, he can be very uncooperative. You, and you, you'll get an example of that here, hopefully. You can do some cool stuff with uh, baiting with him, too. Yeah, keep your eyes on Ash. All right, bye, Ash. See you. Peace. <laughs> that is honestly the worst I have ever seen that, dude. <laughs> also, that is the character you played as in the previous level. Yeah. Remember, no swearing, but uh, this is... Rest in pieces. It's all right. Literally, pieces. In pieces. Uh, we have a $100 donation from Jody. Go, Duke, go. Good luck. You got this. Love from the professor. <laughs> yeah, that's from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jody. Thank you for staying up uh, till, what is it, 2 a.m. there, Mom? I love you. Thanks for all the support and for being the great mother that you are. I grabbed the heart we had, but I threw it away. Soldier levels, dude. Yeah, the soldier has a really interesting mechanic. He uh, cannot pick up anything, but he can switch at will from guns to a knife. And that's really cool. You'll see why. Well, okay. It happens. There's, that, is, that is sort of just a risky strat. Also, that guy got in the way. Uh, I'm going to save ammo here, actually. Cool. Yeah, he actually can't pick up guns, and he has a limited supply of ammo, but there are ammo crates scattered around. Yeah, but for some reason, it's just... 
Uh, the enemy has your ammo in specific crates scattered throughout their camp that only open when you're empty. And they don't give you a lot of ammo either. No, they don't. It's a quarter of what you start with. So yeah, if you if you love fun, but only sometimes soldier is for you. Whoops, that was quick. You get like what two shots with a shotgun? You, I think no, you, you get, get four. four. You get four. Okay. All right, good. Ooh, hey, you're not supposed to be here, friends. All right, that was pretty smooth, honestly. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Were you guys waiting for the skip? Yeah. Yeah, that saves like what, 0.3 seconds or something. If you uh, try doing that on a different level, though, it might crash the game. So I won't do it. I won't do it. Trust me, I'm not getting past that level. We're canceling the run when I get there. White on white floor, is everybody? Anyone else love shooting through walls? Oh, yeah. Let me explain that. So when you uh, use the dual SMG and you're standing a certain distance from the wall, you can do that. It's pretty handy. It's kind of why I like New Game over New Game Plus, because you get to use the other fans and the other sun. Uh, Oh, by the way, we don't have to talk to Tony. He's a loser. Nobody really wants to play with him in this game. Ooh, hey. Don't stand there. All right, we've got him. Oh, I just made a mistake. I'm actually going to kill myself. All right. We have a $5 donation from Anonymous. Love the Bastion voice. Save the Metroid animals. All right. <laughs> hey, it works. You guys can clap, by the way. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was. By, don't don't clap for that. That was all luck. It's it's I saw really. You practicing that, dude. Come on. Yeah, yeah, lie. exactly. <laughs> man, it's it's really difficult to keep track of where everybody is in this game. Frankly, uh, that's one of the biggest issues in the speed run. Is if you were trying to do it as fast as possible, you sort of have to make these assumptions. And when things don't play out the way they're supposed to, which is sort of the hotline trademark, uh, you have to start making concessions. Yeah, sometimes you don't have the time to adapt. Sometimes you just have to hope it works. And hey, sometimes it does. Yep. Do you like this level? I love this level. Okay, you can talk about Better it. Check this out. Oh, I love that strat. <laughs> yeah, thank you for doing my strat. Yeah. Like, I really Dude, who would it. not do that? It really helps me out. <laughs> so Dead Ahead is the only five screen level in the game, right? It's got to be, yeah. I think so, yeah. 90 enemies of hardoing action. I mean, straight up gunplay throughout pretty much the entire thing. Miami's finest cop. He's looking for the Miami Mutilator, man. We can only hope he's successful. Oh, thank God I got this gun. This is the best gun in the game. And it's sort of random whether or not you get good guns. So when you do, it's always a treat. Hopefully you get a good gun on the next screen. I got this, don't worry. All right. There are so many enemies and so little space to actually navigate, like in quarters, for example. If he runs out of ammo, mismanages it, he gets quartered and dies more or less. This screen is another example of being shot from off screen where you cannot see, which is why he was kind of edging around those, uh, what are those, just tables? Something um, like that. Counters? Shelves, I think they were like warehouse shelves. Yeah. I think this is supposed to be like a Near the end of that screen, something that's interesting pretty much solely to Pardo is that he can actually perform special executions with guns where every other character has to drop their gun to actually kill someone who gets yeah, knocked down. Yeah, and in. actually that's kind of unfortunate sometimes. It can really backfire against you. That was pretty lucky. Uh, I believe it uses ammo, right? Uh, yes. yes, but if you don't have ammo, it still works, by the way. He's so magical. If yeah. anybody's ever that's Pardo. curious. Pardo's awesome. Yeah. Best character in the game. There's a he lot really of... is. He's just the ace detective. He's solving all the problems. I, I'm, he's going to crack the Miami Mutilator case. I know. Just Look, Jude, he's been through days. here. We're on the trail. <laughs> We're going to find that guy. So you can soft lock the game uh, if you actually go back and forth on one of the staircases while leaving the level. You just get stuck in a wall and have to spin in place, which I've really? done on accident. Yeah. <laughs> I love this game because every day you find out something's broken. The question is, is it going to be fun broken or let's not do that again broken? Yeah. Usually it's the latter. Oh, boy, this no. level. Well, Th that there, was, I, I'll yeah. try and show you guys some tricks. This is a pretty good level, actually. That was Duke's second favorite level. This is Duke's favorite level. I'm going to be very quiet during this. Do you want to talk about this level since you love it so much? Um, the first section like, has obvious uses of the character's abilities. On this level, if you don't know, you play through with, like, different screen with every different character of the fans. You gotta play with Tony. This is the one time you'll see Tony. You have to play with Mark, then Corey, then Tony, 
then you get to play with the twins. And you can see like all the screens kind of try to take advantage of their abilities, sometimes more successfully than like others. Oh. And oh, I lost my knife. It's over, dude. It's over, dude. I can't do the strat. baby strats. Yeah, I gotta do baby strats now. This is my favorite screen in the game, and he's kind of messed up the strategy. Yeah, you can use the combat roll and just go aggressively into all these rooms and maybe make it. It's really risky, really dangerous. Also, Roller Mobster, the song is just like so energetic. You don't Dude, even care that you're dying 400 times. Does anybody else like really like this track? <laughs> I've heard some people like it, but I've I'm heard, not yeah, sure. Yeah, I've heard whisperings in the rumor mill that some people like this track, but I'm not sure. I think my hard mode time for this for my first playthrough was about an hour, 10 minutes. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. The good news is uh, Tony can actually punch fat people in this game. The bad news is he has butterfingers and can't actually pick up anything. He's scared of guns. Yeah. yeah, so Tony loves corners. He will hug corners all day because it is what he does. Uh, I'm actually going to play this safe. Get these guys to come out. That guy, please. All I'm going to say is this level could be a lot flashier. But I mean, he's going to play it safe for obvious reasons. Yeah. Because of this, this room. Like, think about how long these screens are, and uh, yeah. he's almost he's, he's almost good, there. Good, That is a disaster when it goes wrong. It's really, and there's nothing you can do, frankly. It's just luck. My this favorite. is why we don't use Tony a lot. He likes to play peekaboo. We're a little <laughs> more mature than that, though. <laughs> I meant to kill the, uh, I meant to chainsaw the fat guy and then hit uh, the other guy with the gun during that, but that didn't work out, so that's okay. Yeah, enemies can stack on, on each other, and yeah. that can make those ex executions really this, reliable. This floor is extremely difficult, not because uh, it's like difficult in terms of layout, but because you sort of have to coordinate Ash and Alex for the speedrun route, and that means hoping that Alex does what he's told. Or is it Ash? Ash, I think it's Alex. Ash is the guy. Yeah, see, this is not unexpected at all, honestly. I'm going to take this a little bit slower now. Got your back, baby. Sick achievement. Why? <laughs> I was in the door, dude. The doors are the true enemy in this game. I'm going to uh, grab this rifle, actually, I think. That seems like a good idea. We have a $180 donation from Lone Wolf George. Been watching Games and Quick events for the past three years. Donated every time, and I'll gladly do it again. It's great to see so many people coming together for such a great cause. Ten dollars for me for every game I missed so far. All right, good, good, good. There is a guy with a gun in that room that is very tough to get. Like if you poke your head in here, he's at the very edge of your view range, and there's not much you can do about it. Okay, we, we're out of there. You did it. Dude, we're done with this game. You beat the level. <laughs> we're not done with this game. <laughs> Something quick I want to say, if you haven't seen this game before, don't, don't look. Remember this level. Just remember this level. And this scene. This scene's in specific, too. All right. So the thing about Death Wish and Dead Ahead is they're really just a precursor of things to come. Uh, I actually get to play my favorite level now, which is Subway. This is a great level. It's yeah. It's not that complicated, but it just flows so well. It's Glimpses really, really nice. Glimpses of one in this game. And <laughs> this soundtrack actually grows really quickly on you. Yeah, this is my, one of my favorite songs. We're going to be through it really fast, though, so it might just be really annoying. That's weird. I couldn't pick up the pipe. It was near a wall, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's that wall. What were you thinking? All so, right, we're back on track. Something Duke is not going to do is he can knock people on the ground without, you know, incapacitating them and then murder them. And if he does that, he can actually start using guns, but it's actually so slow that it's not worth using the guns uh, despite the fact that you can. Okay, um, I think we've explained this before, but corners in this game are extremely dangerous because enemies just behave erratically around them. You get hit when you shouldn't, that kind of thing. That's why you don't want to play Tony, by the way, because it's just an entire game of peekaboo. Yeah, yeah, his entire gameplay just revolves around corners, and this game was not really built. Okay, this is mind. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. If you want to spare this guy, by the way, you can. Just knock him down and don't kill him. All right, Stronghold. Stronghold is a uh, frustrating level because the default 
and or I guess the only target, uh, target reticule color is white, and this level is all white, and you're going to be doing a lot of gunplay in this level, so hopefully this screen goes well, but the second and third screens can kind of just be up in the air. You just take what you get and hope that you don't miss too much. I really good song, though. I believe this screen introduces the uh, fat guys with submachine guns. Oh, yeah, that was my favorite. As soon as I found out that was in the game, it was like Christmas. Yeah. All right, I think I can just go Have in Have you mentioned fat people's health in this game? Oh, I don't no, think so. Not. No, no, that's a good point. You guys get that. Okay, well, in the first game, the way fat people worked was they would like just chase after you like normal, and once you hit them, they're, they have like a sort of health bar which will start counting down, and the more you hit them, the faster it goes down, and once it reaches zero, they like flop and die. In this game, however, they just have like a certain threshold and a timer, where if you hit them with enough shots, they'll die, but if you hit them with more shots, that won't be dropping them instantly. I think five or six kills them five. instantly. Five. Ooh. Nice, that is a nice. really cool strat. If you I don't hit it. one that many, then it won't do anything else. So you really want to either just commit and take them out completely, or you kind of just want to tag them once. All right, unfortunately, shotguns in this game are not that good, and now I'm going to have to wait for this guy as opposed to getting down that hall. Uh, what happens is when the pellet hits one enemy, all the other pellets just dissipate. Uh, I lost track of a guy here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was actually amazing. That was really good. Yeah, this level has a ton of wanderers, and it's incredibly easy to get caught out and die. That's true of like every level in the game, but that room specifically, there are enemies all over the place and a lot of random AI. Yeah. And it's massive, and you can only see like halfway down the halls, so... <laughs> let's sell. Uh, let's... <laughs> I think we're getting into some territory we don't want to cover. You get the idea. These levels are tough. Uh, if you're listening through headphones and you have it turned up, you might want to turn it down a little bit for this level. <laughs> it, Thanks for the warning. <laughs> no problem, dude. It's I the same thing you. from Hotline Miami 1. Uh, where's Fat Guy? Dude, Fat Guy. I'm just going to wait for him. Have some patience. Ooh, why would you pick up an empty gun? So, pickup order in this game is extremely important. Uh, the way it works is you will always pick up the item that is dropped first. And with the inability to sort of pick up items in certain contexts, that can be really damaging. Uh, it's also really confusing because you will constantly be picking stuff up like empty guns. Yeah, if you throw an empty gun, you will pick that up first. Luckily, Jake knows what to do with empty guns. He can just throw them and kill people. All right, good. That was pretty good. Shoutouts to Payday for blowing up meth labs. <laughs> yeah, shoutouts to the noise from Tension. Yeah. Making its uh, amazing return in Hotline 2. Really glad they reused it. And you oh, can yeah. hear it multiple times in the same level. Yeah, it's because they know you loved it so much. At least it's not as loud as it was the first time. Uh, we shall <laughs> also probably talk about what happened on that last screen. Um, if you clear the entire screen without getting killed on your first try, you get a separate cutscene with some extra story, but you can just die on purpose to yeah, instantly so end the level. It's, so. it's one of two like sort of intentional deaths. Here's another one. Uh, this is just my route. There are other routes that don't die here, I think. Also, this is the best song in the game. Yes, yeah, this yes is, it yeah. is. Amazing song, this so I'm really not going to be talking. One. Do you like corners, guys? I love corners. I, I, love, I them love every day. Corners. See, this is why the sniper is nice here. If you guys want proof that you should be running my route, here it is. I'm a new game plus guy. I like the flamethrower. It's just it's what a so baddie. cool. Come on, studio. I expect better. I'm I'm, I'm the baddie in this couch, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, actually, why don't you guys explain who you are? Because uh, I'm sure some of the people don't want, are watching don't know the hotline community that well. Explain what? Roll call. Oh. Like uh, what you what you run, who you are. Oh, I'm studio. I just played this game a lot. <laughs> I have bad times. Let's go with that. Uh, I'm Snowfats. I picked up running this game probably, I think, last October 2014. And, well, not this game, but Hotline in general. And then I also picked up this game. I'm still focusing mostly on Hotline. I'm coming for that time, Dingo. Just you wait. Yeah, I'm gonna um, just shamelessly nut hug, or nut hug Snowfats for just a minute. He is really, he is the guy who pushed Hotline to where it is now. And I mean Hotline 1. He came back after, uh, or he showed up after we had sort of dismissed using Brandon in the run and proved that it is the, the viable, the faster option. And he's put in a lot of serious work in this game, on, on that game, and this game as well, actually. So, Purple strats. Yeah. 
Soon, dude, we're gonna man up and start doing it. <laughs> Just like neighbors skip. <laughs> All right, so yeah, sorry about that death, by the way. There was just a guy in that tree and I didn't see him. Whatever. It happens. More time to listen to the song, right? Yep. Mad I ammo, dude. That's good. Uh, headphone users, same thing again. Yeah. Yeah. Look out. Just turn the volume off for this whole time. It's really loud. Or turn it up if you just... Or even turn the game volume down. That works. Actually, that was pretty quiet for me. <laughs> All right, so uh, now we take the elevator to the second floor of the luxurious Crown Plaza Hotel here in St. Paul, and uh, we just walk. Yeah, you can read a donation. This is... Uh, yeah, this is the good time. We have a $30 donation from Dacian. Been a gamer for 30 years, so I really enjoy watching players like Duke Bilgewater who have mastered the art. Keep up the awesome skills. <laughs> the Duke underscore Bilgewater. Wow. That's, that's what it says. I, I appreciate that. I, I like how much drama there was in that donation with the sirens playing by <laughs> <laughs> Dust is a really good jam, by the way. I'm, I really like how it takes uh, some of the motifs from the, the first game score screen theme and reincorporates them. That's the flamethrower. You're not going to see it in New Game. Oh, it's no. awesome. If you guys want to see the flamethrower, just go watch like Dango Drill run New Game Plus. I don't know if he's still doing it, though. I don't think he's been on it for a while. All right, I may have to reset this level because, frankly, I don't want to deal with it otherwise. Okay, good. So, yeah, you, you are completely dependent on one, what gun you get here. And so if you get a uh, shotgun or a double barrel, you're kind of just done. Like, there's nothing you can do. You can like punch people and maybe take one out at a time out of everybody. Yeah, if you go forever. fast enough, you can get a melee weapon, and it's not that painful. But I mean, if you get an AK or you just get like the other rifle, then it's amazing. You just gun them all down. Exactly, the AK is amazing. Like that's the gun you want in basically every situation. Shotguns are terrible. Magnum's a joke. It's all about the AK, baby. Uh, shout outs to my boy, uh, Fair Head Crab, of Cool Head Crab fame for inspiring me to do ILs at this level. Chat? Is he in here right now? I don't know. <laughs> We're better off not knowing. If you could just get up, I'd appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, we never talked about this character, did we? No, he magically manages to fire shotguns slower with each successive shot. Yep. I don't know how that works out. But it's fantastic. It's, it's a good really, feature. I love Richter. Yeah. Whatever. I guess I'll just mention him now since this is going to play out exactly the same. But this is actually one of the characters from the first game. This is playing it from his perspective. He's another one of the agents of 50 Blessings. Puts on animal masks and goes out killings. He's retelling his story to the writer. And that's why you get to play these levels. And they're all really good levels. I can't believe you all made the plot of this game make sense, all. dude. Every single them. level. Every and single level. All of them. Yep. All of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> no sarcasm? Absolutely yeah, they're all, they're all fantastic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel a, a sweet sense of relief, or uh, should I say release, when I play Richter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I actually really like this level. This level's great. House yeah. calls. Yeah. It's, it's okay. I mean, all these levels are really hot on Miami 1-ish. They're very small and very compact. Yeah, but except they just stick a bunch of dudes in them because they think that's challenging. Well, I mean... <laughs> well, it, it is. is. Yeah. Hello. It could be worse. They could half your ammo every time you pick up a gun. Hmm. Yeah, that would be really bad, wouldn't it? Dude, are you doing a hard mode for uh, AGTQ? <laughs> Am I supposed to answer that? Oh, hey, buddy. By the way, those weights, uh, they are technically solid, so that guy can't see you through them. It's a little bit weird, but it's kind of nice, because you don't have to worry about him, and he would complicate the level otherwise. That was a pretty good run. Nice test rank. <laughs> Thanks. No you just going to say that after every level? No. Except homicide? I know, this is not a Richter level, because he doesn't have the mask yeah, on. No. There we go. Oh, Richter was okay. the rat guy, dude. Yeah, this is, this is someone else. You it's know a boss level fight. is off to a great start when it starts off with a biker fight. This is even better than the first game's biker though because there's no RNG in this fight at all, so it's just way more boring. 
I shouldn't have been spinning, dude. I got cheeky. So yeah, this is a really safe fight if you do it right, but I was just messing around. Um, what you want to do is just sort of swing him around and keep him away from walls because he bounces off and that's where he's going to cause trouble for you. And that guy's nice enough to just throw you that soup ladle arbitrarily, so thank goodness. Nice, nice. I want this guy. I want him out here. So there are a lot of guys all over these screens and your weapons are pretty limited. The Magnum is not that great. It doesn't have a very high accuracy either. So I think it penetrates enemies, but you have to actually hit them, and that becomes challenging. Yeah, yeah. they actually patched in the penetration like Oops. months after the fact. Yeah, that was a... Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Dark times. <laughs> also, something else you might notice there is in this game, compared to the first, you when an enemy gets knocked down, you execute them way slower than you ever did in the first yeah, game. Yeah, so melee is really a liability most of the time. Uh, I will try to be avoiding melee executions at all costs, basically. Wow, you got a double kill. Yeah, that's just, that is incredibly rare. I mean, look, you just saw the setup for like a double kill too. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't want this guy getting the oh. shotgun. He turns into a normal enemy. Corners are incredibly dangerous in these levels because of the chargers. Okay, he's still there. I don't know what he's doing. I just missed, my bad. Yeah, basically these super jacked uh, inmates that are just kind of standing there and then run at them as soon as they see them. They can grab them through doors, around corners, just from range. Like they're by far the most frustrating enemy. Yeah, in the game so like here, with. for example, I sort of just stay still. Uh, and you saw he kind of bounced back. They are very unpredictable. Yeah, and you cannot shoot them. You have to throw a weapon or melee them. I'm going to just kill this guy normally. I'd rather do that. All right, let's roll. Let's prove that this route works. Now, there are uh, inmates over guards beating them up. They actually are different kinds of enemies, and you can't tell till they get up, or unless you played the game before. Ooh, nice. That was... That was great. That was actually really good. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Hey, I'd appreciate it if you could die, friend. Interesting thing about the enemies that charge. Also, enemies don't pass through that bottom door he's going through right now. No idea why. But interesting thing about the enemies that charge, if you knock them down, you kind of knock some sense into them, and when they get up... They turn into normal enemies. That was that was great, by the way. That was the best I've ever done that level in like a real a real run. That so was really you guys good. Yeah. Can... That was actually really good. Yeah, we can clap. Oh yeah. Is it faster to go off the right side? No. Okay. Don't tell them that though. <laughs> Duke, it's it's fine. All right. Don't we're, we're taking notes on the run to give to you later. Yeah. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. You and guys what? didn't see that. Didn't you turn graphic content off? Ah oh, yeah, I thought so. Huh. Hmm. All right, time to enjoy the black level with black enemies with a black filter. And black dogs. Yep. I'm really glad that, you know, they had the level with the white crosshair and the white floor, and then they went the complete opposite direction. Yeah, I can tell that they really wanted to experiment here, and it, it, uh, it, it works. There's also uh, enemies hiding in bushes, actually. Like, this level is just trying to surprise you and uh, murder you pretty obscene. Surprise is a very generous word. Yeah. Again, there's a lot of enemies on this level that you kind of just want to lure out of all these little rooms. And this gun just has so many bullets, and it's got such a good rate of fire that it's pretty much the best choice at all times. Yep. That's just how it do. This song is also really good. Yeah, this is a great song. It really sets was, the tone nicely. Oh, and there it goes. That was, that was good. really yeah, good. That was nice. Yeah, that was great. Hey. We can clap again. It wasn't an S-rank, stop clapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now I get dirty hands and I can't use them because they're bad. It's just Tony trying to worm his way back into the game. Luckily, Blood Money doesn't give you the option to um, choose a weapon because it is the payday level. Speaking of massive rooms, by the way. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this bank. Mm, let's just walk around. Big bank has Save nothing on this. this. Hey, how's it going? It, it is a big room, but at the same time, it's very... Uh, it's in a lot of compartments, so yeah. Yeah. you kind of take it zone by zone. Also, the music is just amazing. Acid spit. I feel like we could just say that after every level. Yeah, this <laughs> sounds really good. I like it a lot. Except Subway. It grows on you, dude. It's true. I disagree with that. <laughs> Something I want to mention here, because it specifically bothers me, is that you might notice the top side of the screen there kind of stops there, rather than having like the colorless 
not colors, but just like the colored void that was in the first game and was in a few levels earlier. Yeah. And that actually messes with your camera a bit because normally it focuses either on you or if you hold shift on a point between you and your cursor so that you have like pretty good control over where your camera is. But when you get near one of those like edges of the screen like that, it just stops completely and it focuses on the edge of the screen. It can really mess up your aiming. You can have your crosshair going like off the screen and you I'm can't see some, anything. some bad luck here, but whatever. I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure from enemies I shouldn't be. Like, I'm getting shot from places I don't normally get shot from. Also, white cursor, white floor. Hey, how's it going? I missed this. And now I just sort of have to poke my head out very slowly and take a look at what's happening in here because of that. That exact thing could have happened to me and I could be dead right now. All right, that was good, though. That was a nice comeback from that. This last uh, screen is more or less three big squares, and you kind of kind of crisscross between them. It also has the world's largest cafeteria. Yeah, this is a. If you want to just like run around, this is the place to do it in this game. Also, there's like four enemies there, but it's the biggest room in the game, I think. Uh, They're mostly melee. I think it's time to field some questions about that. But yeah, so. Is that the last? No, there's one more sun level, but now we get to uh, go back to the thrilling conclusion of the Miami Mutilator saga, in which my, uh, Manny Pardo defeats Manny Pardo while Manny Pardo watches. This level is, frankly, just a mess. It's really difficult to keep track of, and you kind of just deal with what you get. Also, uh, this not doing the uh, clip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I should reset just to do that. Yeah, so that's the world's worst dog, by the way. He doesn't know how to do his job, and it's very frustrating. There are quite a few levels like this where your main goal early on is to get a weapon just because you either can't take on certain enemies or the way they're laid out, it's going to be impossible to get to them with a melee without dying. Ooh, we're okay. So, for example, here he had to get, he had to, get to a gun first before he could actually do anything about the uh, uh, fat police officer. Yeah, it happens. All right. Yeah, if I miss this guy with lock-on, it kind of messes up the rest of the screen because I sort of need to react very quickly to this, obviously. Yeah, luckily the pistol has a good rate of fire, but the accuracy still is It's not very good. good. You just kind of have to, have to trust it, but yeah. unfortunately things will just sort of go wrong, so you just make do. Hello. Uh, can we just execution. remove doors, by the way, please? We can do that once the level editor comes out. <laughs> level editor when? Let's just say that. All right, good. That was actually pretty okay. Pretty okay. I don't know if pretty okay is clap worthy. All right. <laughs> good snap for it. Wait, we have to see if pretty, it's an S rank. Pretty what? Is it an S rank? No. No. Uh, oh, that was terrible. No. Trash, dude. Cancel the run. Miss can you redo the level? Oh, yeah, sure. Actually, wait. I really want to play takeover. This level, is, uh, <laughs> this level is just really long and difficult. That's all I have to say about it. Every screen is massive. Every screen is just another floor of this mansion. And it's huge, and there are a lot of enemies. They're very varied. And it's really easy to get shot from off screen, off screen as well. Yeah, very. Also, this guy that's coming up with a katana is not really used in normal mode. I thought he was a really good inclusion, though, and he's a special kind of enemy to kind of rival the fat men. Rather than only being able to be killed by guns, he actually, like, dodges, ducks underneath thrown weapons and any bullets, and you have to kill him with a melee weapon. Oh, hey, you're not supposed to be your friend. That is a long execution. By the way, that dog behind me, completely safe. Don't worry about him. He's good. All right, good, I want that guy there. Another double kill. Yeah, this, this is a run. Uh, this really is, this is incredibly lucky. All right, everything is under control. Good, good. <laughs> I'm gonna play this safe, let's be smart. Uh, you, you may not be able to hear it, but every now and then there's like a small wolf wolf or bark bark coming out from dogs, uh, which means that they've spotted your character and they're gonna start chasing him down. Yep. It's, 
it's frankly not that helpful because dog AI is just so broken in this yeah. game. Sometimes they just don't chase you. Like they'll bark or sometimes they bark a lot and do nothing. They like to chase their own tail though. They made very Oops. realistic dog yeah. AI in this game. They also like to run through walls sometimes. My dogs don't do that though. <laughs> dogs aren't that cool, I'm sorry. I could use more guns for this, but whatever. I'll just take this this time. So do you guys have to be uh, cautious about enemies you aggro just because they're taking a long path around, and if you catch them by surprise, it's almost instant death. Yeah, you have to watch this hallway very closely. Um, because of that, yeah. Enemies can kind of just wander in from up there. There are a couple of gun guys. You can see one of them, that guy that I just got. Lucky. Uh, guys in here can also sort of wander out. It's very frustrating, but... All in all, this isn't too bad. This screen is pretty brutal, though, honestly. This is definitely one of those screens where if you were to die, Ooh. like, uh, yeah, yeah. not Minutes. gonna jinx it. Minutes. Don't do that. <laughs> he didn't know. Yeah, you would lose so much time there. Yeah, yeah, this is really the level where you lose everything. But luckily, that was actually good, so, hey. The one time where Windows work in your favor. <laughs> so I've walked into, th into this room before and just not aggroed them, and you just walk in into the mob boss and kind of sit there. Really? You can walk up there? Yeah, it it's a bug. It happened once. It might have been patched out, but it was just really you can, um, weird. You can actually open the door and shoot the black guy with the dogs. He's the only one who can be killed in that room for some reason. Oh. Nice S-rank, by the way. T-Y, mate. Wait, S-rank? No problem. <laughs> S-rank? <laughs> This level, you just take a lot of candy and you start feeling weird. Yeah. yeah, you take some purple and green Skittles and it's all good. Sugar rush, man. And then suddenly you feel the need to turn on the sink because you're very thirsty after your candy. Stay hydrated, kids. Yeah. I think this is one of the, this is just cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, friends. He's usually uh, supposed to sort of end up against that wall, but that didn't happen, whatever. It's a little hard playing this level if it's not obvious. <laughs> It's a really easy level, but uh, the visual effects can get kind of confusing. It's almost By the way, like that, a, was, uh, that was our good friend, Mark. It's almost like a sequence of puzzle levels, uh, yeah. because you're limited on ammo, limited on, on really what you can do, and you just have to kind of figure out how to manage your ammo. By the way, that them. shotgun had seven bullets. Just playing it that happens. out. Yeah. There goes the best girl. Rest in peace. Swans she does wear shoes. Yet. Let's just make that very clear. It's true, she does. It was confirmed by the developers, so... By the way, can you guys uh, patch in just using this shotgun every, on uh, every level? Thanks. Yeah. One thing that's kind of annoying is your move speed isn't constant in this level. And it's just kind of easy to walk into corners if you're not ready for it, or at least yeah. it is for me, maybe I'm just bad. So we're coming up on time. Time is as soon as I uh, open the Golden Gates to Valhalla and walk along the rainbow after eating my Skittles. And so let's do this. And time. That? 46. 46 51. Yeah, all right, that's a good run. That's I'm good. happy with that. Yeah, for a marathon, heck yeah. <laughs> so that's that's Hotline Miami, too. I hope you, uh, you all enjoyed it. It's a little weird talking to a camera from this angle, but hey. Um, yeah, do I, do I have time to just say a few things? I mean, I'm not stopping you. All right, yeah, sure. Uh, I just wanted to thank the developers of this game, Denaton, uh, for everything they do. They're really creative guys, and as much as we kind of bash this game, I think we're all glad that it came out and that we got to play it, and it was, it's, it's an experience. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything else I really want to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I, play, I played that up like I had something, but that's it. Good commentary. I was ready yeah, for I you did. to propose to I somebody. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that, you know, uh, times change, but 
These events are always a blast to go to. You guys don't always get to see the community as it is, and it's, it's still as strong as it's ever been. Um, and, and being here, actually, it was my birthday less than three hours ago, I think, and being, being at a GDQ is the best birthday present I could ever ask for. I, I love all you guys. Aww. <laughs> Do you want a group hug? I'm sure we can group do it. hug. Yeah. <laughs> can we take off the headphones, though? No. No. Okay. <laughs> happy birthday, Duke. Nuke it all! <laughs> what a happy ending. Yeah, it's over, dude. All right. All right. All in Miami, too. Oh, you got the Chivo. Dude, Chivo is. All right, let's roll. <laughs> yeah.